What's up everybody? Here's my quick video uh, regarding what's inside the brand new set of box for the satellite and uh, also the cable and terrestrial receive, receiving uh, receiving TV signal of course. So this is brand new VU Plus Duo 4K as you can see. I'm just bad focus. So we will look what it's inside. It's a very simple set of box, uh, nothing special in there. So here you can see the bracket for the hard disk. Yeah. It's removable first time. You don't need to dismantle the whole box to remove the uh, hard disk. It's just a bracket. Just pull it out. Yeah. It's my testing hard disk, Western Digital, push and lock. I don't have uh, it screwed down but it, there are uh, included four screws for screwing uh, the hard disk to bracket. No need to worry about it. Uh, and it's, here is what's in the box. Uh, it surprised me, uh, even it's 4K capable, it is fanless, totally fanless, so it will be absolutely quiet. Uh, in case you will have uh, quite <laughs> noiseless uh, hard disk, of course, but the set box it itself will be absolutely quiet. It is passive, passive cooled by this, I don't know, this cooling system, but it's a very simple cooling system, as you can see from this chipset. Uh, it is probably card reader, some chipset, uh, the cooling is very good but here is just a plate of metal. Maybe uh, you can mod it slightly, I don't know what these pin are, pins are but probably not for the cooler because of the four pins cooling system nowadays having three pins or two pins. I got it uh, with one multi receiver satellite receiver or tuner I will zoom it, try to zoom it, ok and just flip it for a reference so this is one multi tuner for the satellite signal you can of course add another one or just it could be a satellite or it could be it could be cab cable or terrestrial receiver or tuner, no problems at all. Uh, the first time I see at the v uh, plus boxes it is uh, SP, uh, SPDIF or something like that. It's for the it's Philips Sony sound uh, for the receivers. It's, it's the most best quality sound uh, to your receiver if wanted, but uh, it's not necessary to plug it in. HDMI will be enough for the most people. So this is quick overview of the backside. Nothing really special. What comes in handy are two USB 3 super speed, super speed uh, USB sockets. And here is the reader. And of course, uh, for slot for CI. Overall, it's very good. Set the box very fast, very snappy. Uh, no problem with fast channel changing in uh, UHD. It is absolutely fantastic and phenomenal. Uh, I came from Solo 2, and uh, uh, it is um, it is big gap between those two machines. So this is my quick look into this box. Again, surprise me, it is fanless. As you can see in my second video I have uh, the, the same type of video, so dismantling in and looking inside. I have a VUSOLO 2, slightly modded by me. Uh, just added a new cooling system from Noctua, but nothing special.
just for your reference again. Now, trying to zoom it. Yeah. If you know what is what those two four pins are, please add it add a note under this video. It'll come in handy for the most viewers. Okay, again, very nice box. Not too expensive. Okay, so just uh, one note. Uh, you you will need uh, <laughs> HDMI 2.0 cable if you want to watch. Uh, in 4K or UHD but uh, the cable is attached in the box so it's a big surprise from the Wu thumbs up uh, last week I bought a Panasonic OLED TV and there was no absolutely no HDMI 2.0 cable so it's a disappointment for Panasonic and also on Kyo receivers 676 don't have HDMI 2.0 cable just for uh, information <laughs> nothing special but uh, know that for UHD you're gonna need HDMI 2.0 there are many confusions because there is no marking on the cables that it's 2.0 it's just HDMI high speed but uh, HDMI high speeds were in the one decimal four or one point four cables as well, so it's but big confusions nowadays with HDMI too. Uh, but you're gonna manage, as I managed. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Bye.